You are with us on this Sunday. In the next few weeks, they're going to be bittersweet weeks for college seniors because there will be no famous walk across the stage to receive a hard-earned diploma to the cheers of friends and families. Virtual graduation is one of the many ways co the COVID crisis has changed and is changing higher education. Mark Rosenberg is the president of Florida International University and is joining us now from his office in Southwest Miami-Dade. So good to see you. And, uh, you know, I, we've talked, you know, I have a class of 2020 graduate who won't be taking that walk either. And so uh, fill us in a little bit, if you would, Mark Rosenberg, on, on how FIU is handling this month's worth of graduations. Glenna, first of all, our condolences to victims and their families of this uh, horrible pandemic and virus. Uh, we feel the pain and uh, we're working hard to make sure that the public health is restored and that our prosperity through job creation and employment can be addressed. And in many ways, graduation is very much about ensuring that our economy stays strong and robust by graduating highly qualified students. Our virtual graduation, like our regular graduations, is going to be a celebration. And we are very proud of the fact that over 6,000 students will be graduating virtually. Now, it's not as good as your face-to-face -face graduation, but nonetheless, it's a milestone achievement and celebration that we are very, very much looking forward to. Yeah. Dr. Rosenberg, um, I guess it was in March where you said to your students, your faculty, and most of your staff, work from home, work remotely. We will finish the semester uh, online, virtually. Um, now, just late this week, St. Thomas University and Nova Southeastern said that in late August or September, they are going to resume instruction in the classroom. Now, when is FIU going to be able to do that? Uh, we are, uh, as you know, we are offering classes remotely this summer. The university really never shut down. We just went remote. And so this summer we're offering nearly 4,000 classes remotely. Wow. We expect over uh, 40,000 students like we had last summer. And we are looking forward to a fall uh, resumption of uh, populating uh, our campuses. However, we will follow best practices as set up by the CDC, the State Board of Health, and the, the Florida Board of Governors. So we're working with the Florida Board of Governors to establish standards that all of the univer public universities should be hitting. There is no doubt that we will be in a new normal, but we are excited about finding newer and better ways to respond so that the learning process continues for our students. You know, university system, colleges, among pretty well everybody who has taken such a financial hit over the past couple of months, and in the CARES Act and the relief package, one of them yes. uh, for universities, Florida International, got $38.3 million mm -hmm. of that. Actually, more than University of Florida, more than FSU, more than almost all the universities in Florida, except for two, That's one correct. of them being Miami-Dade College. Take us yeah. through, if you would, how FIU will be using that money and spending that money. Uh, first of all, what's most critical to us is ensuring that no students drop out because of the financial difficulties. Student success is what we are all about. Uh, about 19 million will be directed to students who are eligible, first of all, through the Pell process, and second of all, just by uh, applying to us and, and indicating that they need help. Uh, so we're, we're in the process now of making those funds available. We also have an emergency fund, FIU Strong, that has already offered about 250 grants. And as you know, in addition to that, through the South Beach Wine and Food Festival, the Chaplain School, we've made funding available to independently owned restaurants in the community and to the staffs of those restaurants. By the way, many of, many of those individuals are our students as well. So we're finding multiple ways to address the challenges, but we're, per yeah. we're particularly grateful to the U.S. Congress for allocating this funding. Yeah, President Rosenberg, we wish we had more time. I know you're a loyal viewer of This Week in South Florida. It's yes, great to have you on. We'll see you again, I hope, in happier days. Thank you Thank very you, much. Mike. Thank you, Glenna. Thank you.